Nine out of ten construction projects do not finish within the given timeline and result in additional cost. So there is a strong need to schedule tasks and manage project more efficiently. Here comes the construction schedule which is the backbone of any successful project management for construction. Tools that are installed in construction project management software such as Gantt charts and resource management are key features to control the phases of a construction project. So what actually is construction scheduling? Construction scheduling organizes activities and their sequence in a construction project. It is a project management process that acts as a blueprint for how the project will be executed. It not only organizes the activities and tasks, but the overall time frame for the project, including milestones. The construction project manager can track progress to make sure that the project is on schedule. Let's start with the project manager, which is a project management software that offers multiple project planning tools such as Gantt charts, project calendars, so you can map out your project activities and create accurate construction schedules. Let's talk about the five steps which you can follow to create a construction schedule of your project. First thing first, you must have the information about the project timeline, resources and participants. Once we have a list of tasks, we will next need to put these tasks in order. For this huge data, work breakdown structure can help with this. As it takes a complex project and boils it down to essential parts and when they need to be worked on. So let's put these tasks in project manager where we can follow multiple ways to put these tasks. We can do this by using the tool task summary where you can list the tasks included in each phase. Or the other way is to just copy and paste the task from the sheet where you have saved like from Excel or a Word sheet wherever you have saved. And later on with the use of indent you can list them in each phase. Small tasks help to break up the project into larger phases or milestones which is a point in the project that mark the end of some large phase. Now take each of the tasks and give them a start and finish day. You can add the duration or how many days it will long. So which will create a bar chart on the gain chart that represents the duration of the task. These determinations must be realistic. Depending upon how long term the project is, you will need to calculate your construction schedule vacations for employees. You can perform this task in the project calendar option where you can make a new calendar or edit existing calendar. Here the default calendar is standard calendar with two days off in a week. So if we need to make a new calendar according to our requirements, we can just make a copy of standard calendar and can set the working days according to our own requirements. If there are other events that might come up, be sure to use them as a ruler when measuring your schedule's durations.
In Microsoft project, you can link multiple as well as individual tasks. After selecting the task, go to the task tab on the ribbon. Look for the link tasks button in the schedule group on the ribbon, click on it. A task dependency dialog box will appear. Here you can specify the type of dependency, finish to start, start to finish, finish to finish or start to finish and set any lag or lead time if necessary. Now if you want to link multiple tasks, you can just select all the tasks and click on this tab. Now you can see that all your tasks are linked together. And now you can specify any dependency, finish to start or start to finish or whatever according to your requirement. You can see that the link task will now be connected with the line on the Gantt chart indicating the dependency between them. Repeat these steps as needed to link additional tasks. Keep in mind that the task IDs, task names and durations may vary depending on your specific project. Adjust the setting and dependency according to the specific requirements of your project plan. Remember that linking tasks create a sequence and changes in the predecessor task can impact the successor task. It helps in creating a logical flow in your project schedule. On the next, we need to allocate activities and resources. Once you have the people assigned to the work, the construction schedule is easy to venture into real world. Make sure your resources are balanced. Now let's see how you can format the Gantt chart for better visualization. Customize the appearance like labels and color coding to make it more understandable. Use the option available under the Format tab to change the color of your labels. You can also right click on the Gantt chart and from here you can change uh, the bar styles. Uh, from here you can change the appearance of task and uh, every label. For example, I want to change it to red color. Just click on task and from here you can change color and now you can see that it turns into red and now again click right click and then go to layout and uh, from here you can change the layout of links for example this you can see that the necessary changes appear here and just hit ok now you can see that you have this type of link between uh, two bars you can also change uh, make uh, other changes from here uh, like uh, the layout uh, date format bar height uh, like 18 and now you can see the necessary changes In the last step, you will need to look over the construction schedule throughout all project phases to make sure your actual progress align with your plan. Look at your schedule daily and depending on your time, update frequently. You can use our construction daily report template to keep track of the progress of your construction project.